is a Cosmic Octave original podcast. Me and Jake running down the street with a handful of comic books kicking ass and yeah. banging chicks and drinking beer. No, not and me. I'm, not weed. me. I'm or, married. Yeah, well, I'm married. Jake. Yeah, do that. Yeah. I'll pay the off job with Jake and Tyler. It's here, everybody. <laughs> it's here, everybody. Episode here, 113. Everybody. I'm Jake. Is that? That's I'm Tyler. Tyler. Is that? That was awesome. Whoa. You've never done it in sync Whoa. like that before. Is Whoa. There, uh, is there a way? Um, what? Um, it, it, does that 113, does that denote that this is an unlucky episode? Like, if you listen to this, like... Three times in a row. I don't. Like, I don't know. We'll c- come out of your mirror. To be honest, I haven't. Something. I haven't listened back to episode thirteen. So may, maybe I don't know, Tyler. I don't know. But uh, anyway, got a lot of. Do you t- know? Do you know where the thirteenth Friday the thirteenth comes from? It comes from the Templars. Did you know that? That's the date that the Catholic Church decided to have them murdered. You're, you're going to tell me it was the Templars? The Knights Templars were all murdered by the Catholic Church. Yeah! Oh, no. Come on. You on serious? Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Look it up, man. Thank you, Deion Sanders, for that. Look it up. Okay. You didn't feel that was as funny as I would have thought. Mm, I'm not a big... I'm it's not as huge of a... Pr- brilliant! And you... And you... You can't... You can't appreciate... <laughs> oh, no. Come on. <laughs> it's the scream at the beginning. What is he doing? He's asking reporters if they believed in Colorado, if they believed in that team now. I don't know. And Tyler's over here like, Boring! No, it's just not as funny as I think it is, as you think it is. You Sorry, know what, man? man? No, listen, I love you. I'll drink your blood. You keep it up. Are you ready for the Yeah, let's, best? I guess, let's derail the show. It is called off panel, off topic. Yes, it is. Well, so, but, as you know, Tyler, right, yes. we're on a strike. Yes, we got that. Well, not we personally, no. but <clears> actors, <throat> writers, they're on a strike. Yeah. So, as you said last week, we're trying to entertain you guys, right? You, you know how we're part of the strike? We don't actually write anything down, so we're also striking. Streaking or striking? Striking. Because I am naked right now. Well, so that's that's that, maybe I shouldn't have skimmed through the generally email. Lo- naked when we do this, so. Yeah, it's nobody. Balls out and everything, mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, that's why I like. That's why I'm trying to get you to do video, so I don't have to look at your. We'll balls. get kicked off YouTube if I'm butt naked. No, I'm saying get us on videos. You put clothes on when we do videos. I know that. <laughs> now you're making it seem like I just walk around my basement naked. <laughs> Maybe I do when you're not here, <laughs> but not during show. I fucking would. Anyway, we're gonna do some a couple of old segments. Wow. So what Gross. we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little thing. Um, you know what we should do? Mm. We we'll do it at the end of the episode. Mm. We should do a roulette or a, like a random number r- number generator. Yeah. Between topics, uh-huh. so then we can just bring in old segments again, like we've been mm. doing with Robocopalooza. Are we doing? With, are doing? Are we doing a clip show? We could do a we could do a commentary episode. Why don't we do a clip show? Because nobody will listen to that but us. And we already kind of did that on episode one hundred. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, well, where we, we did that up. live from the busted lip, you know. Right. What a bar. I met my wife there. No, I didn't. it's been bulldozed since. What? Too many cocaine drug deals gone wrong. <laughs> a lot of coke at the busted lip. Hey, there's some cocaine. Anyway, what the? That gets me every time. (laughs) All right, everybody. It's uh, what's in my mouth. So, but by the way. What I was leading to with that roulette thing, it's kind yes, of yes, inadvertently yes. you and I did this already mm. subconsciously because mm. I presented edited for TV, which will be on after this. You got this. So I think we should do that again, but make a game out of it. You know, do a random number generator. <laughs> Jesus sure. Christ, man. That was off mic, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, this isn't like the mics at the radio it station. Ain't, it ain't off panel off mic. Anyway. It's off. And who's mic? Who's this fucking mic you keep talking about? Stop it. 
Why are you even trying? Oh, I've had it up. Fucking gender ambiguity! Oh. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted the shorter one. Right. Anyway, go on. Okay. What do so, we got today? Oh, okay. So we are on a strike, as we've talked about. <laughs> and so um, we don't, you know, we we don't have, like, content to review, except for Ahsoka, and you couldn't be fucking bothered to dr- watch the next episode You know what, man? When every time you sit down and, and do this so podcast. It's so badass. You know what you get every time you sit down and do this podcast? I got what I paid for. All right. I only talk in drops. 20 bucks for all this shit here. Oh, here we go. Mr. Whiny Poo. I like honey. That's Pooh Bear. Though. I like honey. That was a terrible Pooh Bear. What do we got, dude? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to do... Started. We're going to do... We're going to do... Black-eyed peas up weird. in here. Weird. Yeah. First. What's weird? Not weird. What, what is weird to you? Something that you don't eat and I don't eat on the reg. <laughs> okay. So we got some Nora... Seaweed snacks, tempera spicy flavor. Yeah, you better do that. What's oh, seaweed? What's seaweed? You're getting high with the fish. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> they can't hear that. Put that in the microphone. Yeah. Get in there. Okay, so it's a spicy temper, temper spicy flavor. Actually, this seems like this is too weird for me because I'm just a boring white dude. But uh, Nora seaweed snacks, tempura spice. Mm. Oh, okay. I can't crack that. Tastes like chips. It's like a chip. I don't. I don't get it. It's not very spicy. I don't taste anything. It's kind of bland. <laughs> and it's got a horrible aftertaste. Oh. Yeah, don't finish it. Oh. <laughs> Too late. Um, oh. You know what? You are nothing but garbage, yeah. Nothing but garbage, Gaina. <clears throat> yeah. That's you as well? Yeah. You are nothing but garbage, yeah. Nothing but garbage, stuck in my Gaina. throat, too, like popcorn, but popcorn's good. Just remember, if we like it, mm-hmm. we give it a, we give it this. Go eat your ass. And as you heard, we gave it the garbage. But if we're in the middle... Nice. You know? That means we can take it or leave it. But the garbage, we don't like. And, ah, it just doesn't have much flavor to it. There wasn't, but there was, like, a bad aftertaste. It's like cardboard. <laughs> Well, at first it was kind of like a. Ca- it was it was a nice chippy. Hey man, there's chip. a reason we gave it. You are nothing but garbage. Yeah, nothing but garbage. Guy. What's up next? Okay, what's up next is that we have a, a couple of uh, um, selections from the Good and Gather. Oh, brand name. Sounds um, like a really n- weird knockoff. I've never heard. Never heard ranch of it. being described as smooth ranch cashews. I've heard creamy. Yeah, but not smooth. Smooth, right? Smooth ranch. Smooth ranch. I just, you know, just, this ranch is smooth. I'll he can go out and get laid anywhere. Smooth. And he's got. It's charming. Yeah, that's a terrible ad campaign, man. We can't. We can't run with that. Well, we're not going to. No, but if we're trying to sell our smooth thing, you think? Are you on the right track? I think it's smooth jazz when I think of smooth ranch. Well, it'd be like an Creamy. Ax, it'd be like an axe commercial where they insinuate that if you use axe, you're just gonna have babes like all over you. I call it the creamy this, white delight. This smooth ranch cashews is smooth, so he's got babes all over him. So here we go. Huh. Are we stupid? <laughs> Why did you pay for this? You could just dip this in. You could just take. I got cashews upstairs. I got ranch. We dip it in that. But it's not bad. It's not terrible. I'll give it a nice. I mean, I'll eat a sack of them. I'll eat a sack of these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what I'll give it. Two? Nice. nice. So, yeah. One garbage, one nice. We're going to have one where, like, we, one of us likes it, and the other one's like, fuck that shit. Mm. Next one is kind of, uh, your wife called me a basic bitch. Wow. She's right. I am a basic bitch. Another good and gather? Oh, it's goldfish. Goldfish limited edition Duncan's oh, pumpkin, pumpkin Spice. Oh, pumpkin spice. Grams. Ooh. 
I didn't know they were goldfish. You know, they were just little graham crackers. By the time this comes out, it, it'll be officially fall. So, yeah. Today's it's a big deal. Of fall. No, it's tomorrow. Why don't you look at a calendar? It's tomorrow. And get your dog away from me while I'm open packages. By the time this goes live, though, it'll be. Hey, two, two dogs. We got two dogs. Cooper, come on. Okay. Yeah. So, um. Hey. Here's the next round. What's, What's in my, my mouth? Everybody knows that we're going to have some trouble pooping later with all these foods. Are you ready? Yeah. We are. Mmm. You got some milk, though? I would fuck with this. <laughs> I would fucking eat this shit out of somebody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll eat your ass. I'll eat your ass, dude. <laughs> I'll eat your ass. I'm just, you know what? I'm I want to rate it that, but I also want to say... I'll eat your ass. And then say... Ooh, yeah! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> that means we really like it. Wow. I don't know if it's because... You know, if I'm being honest, it's not that good. No, <laughs> You know, and here's here's the thing. We start off with these shitty seaweed snacks, and I don't know if they're what. What's the big draw here? Okay, this is a small bag and three servings per container, and each ser- serving size is a third of a bag, obviously, fifteen grams. And each <clears throat> serving is ninety calories. So this whole bag. Is 270 calories. That's a fucking cheeseburger, dude. Why the fuck are you eating those, people? It's got to be for, like, weight loss or some shit, right? You know what I mean? Right? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I mean, a nutritionist. I don't know. I'm not the doctor. Come on, Cohagen. You got what you want. Give this people air. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I think we really like the Dunkins. Mm -hmm. I'll eat your ass. Yeah. the board. Mm-hmm. Across the board, ass eaten for the Dunkins. America runs on ass. Across the board, <laughs> across the board, tongue in that butthole wow. for Dunkins. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh no! Come on. That's what I have to say to that. Where's the beat that beaver up? You still have that? Then beat that beaver <laughs> up! Wow! Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the uh we got uh another selection Boring. from the <laughs> to get to the point. I'm fucking going. Shut up. Heel versus fuck face. Oh. Whoa. Good and gather. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Good and gather again. Uh, dill pickle. <clears throat> God, I feel like I'm just over modulating like really bad. Am I? Or am I just that beautiful mellow? I'll turn our head. I think it's our headphones. I think your fucking headphones are fucking <laughs> dill pickle cashews. So largely a lot like the same. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. Yes. So you just got two different flavors of cashews. <laughs> <laughs> I told you last week that I was like, that'll give me a lot of time to give some... And I realized, you know what? The only thing that this Halloween shit has is different colored fucking, like, chocolate. Is it orange or is it purple? No, it's green. Like, or oh, black or green. Well, they have, like, Snickers with green nougat, and then they have... Uh, uh, you should try the Snickers Ted's. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I was... <laughs> So when I was talking about, that's what I was thinking, and then I realized, I'm like, wait a second, all we're doing is eating Snickers that have, like, green, that's boring. Yeah. So let me get some stuff, and I realized, shit, I don't have anything, that's what led me to the the seaweed, because I'm trying to make content here, people, we don't have any fucking writers, okay? (laughs) Jesus, Tyler. (laughs) (laughs) So you ready for some dill pickled chips? Wow, these fucking (laughs) reapers, man. Now I'm just playing the soundboard until you give me some nuts. <laughs> wow. Give me that sack Dude, of take nuts. It, take the whole bag. I, ain't t- I got all of them over here. I know. That's the point. The dogs are going to be on me. Okay. Hmm. Here comes Jake with 
I got their shoes. I got dill, dill juice. Pickle juice. <laughs> dill juice. How did you make it? That was my name in college. <laughs> dill juice. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get that nickname? Don't ask. Oh. That's all I'll say. <laughs> um, well, they certainly taste like dill pickles. And I gotta be honest, um, without the snap of that big old honking <laughs> green thing in my mouth. Finish it! <laughs> <laughs> Juice running down uh, my nobody's listening to this down episode. my chin. Somehow we've gotten worse. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have the snap of a pickle, you know, big old, big old pickle in your mouth. So I'm just gonna give it a a nice. Really? I'm not sold on it. Nice. I need to, have, you know. I yeah. mean. That's not bad, but I hate to do this, but nice. Yeah, it's just very in between, you know. It's very mid, you know. But so the there's no controversy like, during this. We're just no. eating on, bunch, on we're tape. We're just snacking. <laughs> and I know what I feel. Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. The final. Um, you know what it really is. Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an excuse for me to play the drops. That's um. Our final selection for uh, what's in my There's mouth. There's one more. Yeah. Well, they said it was. Th- oh, that is three. I can't count. I said weird, salty. Well, we've done five. Yeah. One. Now, one this will weird. be the fifth one. Well, yes. All right. Jeez, man. I wanted to make some fucking. Talk about how, a how far are we? Big old dill how far pickle. Are we into this? Uh, like Seventeen minutes. Really? Yeah. See, I told you. Content. Sizable content. content. Who's listening? My mom. So. I hope not. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um, no, I'll listen to everything. Like, I'm not this mom. Um, so she'll hear it. And she'll just be like, <laughs> "Oh, no, come on." I'm overusing that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It's not even that good. What are the other new ones? You said you had a bunch of new ones. Yeah, but the other ones are for edited for TV. So finish. Oh. Finish them. Give me some of that. <laughs> <laughs> finish it. Give me some of that drop. Mm. Do we have any Jesse Ventura? I know. Well, why don't you go ahead and... I was too busy doing crack cocaine. Couldn't record any lines, but I did some. I was really... Yeah. So, um... <laughs> sorry to have let So, you Kit down. Kat, uh, Witch's Brew. Which is who? Which is Brew. Oh. Nice. Wait, you know what? Way to play off of that, because I thought this was just going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I got what I paid for. <laughs> I thought this was just gonna suck ass. Just take them out already. Come you on, fucking eat my <laughs> shit. Show them to me. Show me your Kit Kat. <laughs> Get your Kit Kats out and dangle them in front of me. Somebody has crashed their car because they're like. So which is uh, is anymore. is it's basically a Kit Kat, but the chocolate has been replaced by marshmallow flavored cream, and <laughs> I am convinced that this is gonna suck ass. It doesn't sound good at all to me. Oh. I may need this. Witch's brew marshmallow. I don't know, man. I like a good marshmallow cream. Wow. <laughs> I like the cream pot. All they do when they do the food thing is talk about wieners. <clears throat> I like a good cream pie. That's disgusting. Oatmeal cream. What? Those are good, though. <laughs> Oatmeal cream pies? They're really good. <laughs> I'm not being facetious. <laughs> Dude. It tastes strangely like a rice crispy treat. Amazing. I want it in me. Wow. <laughs> I'll eat your ass. <laughs> um. It's not as bad as I thought. But here's the thing. I've had a lot of Kit Kats. That are flavored different things, you know, because they do that a lot. There's a churro, got, there's coffee, around, yeah. there's a um, the blueberry. I think one of our first "What's in My Mouth" featured a blueberry Kit Kat. Remember? Mm. 
And the fucked up thing about that is you're eating this Kit Kat and it tastes exactly like a fucking blueberry muffin, dude. It does. But then you're like, why instead of a fluffy, dense, butter soaked muffin, chocolate chip muffin in my mouth, blueberry muffin in my mouth, chocolate chip, what the fuck? <laughs> I just, I just really love myself a little chocolate chip muffin. You out there on a limb, man. I just um, God speaks, my bad. I know where you go with that. Get your ass to boss. Now, we're so this, you know, instead of instead of having like this lovely airy, like just you know blueberry muffin soaked in Get butter, your goddamn rating in your mouth, you're eating like a waxy like. Chalk, you know, I mean, when when you have confectioner's candy or whatever, if you've ever seen that that white stuff that they, <laughs> <laughs> this no. is the brown stuff no. all over again. <laughs> no, no, um, it's not like white chocolate, but it's confectionery's <clears throat> whatever. <laughs> it's cum. <laughs> no. <laughs> They have to work hard for all that. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so Just give me your rating no. for the love of God. Uh, so you know, um, so <laughs> it's like this white stuff. I can't breathe. <laughs> they sell it like in the baking aisle, and what you do is you you melt it like chocolate, and then you like dip things in it, right? <laughs> like pretzel sticks. <laughs> And pretzels, and also like you know graham crackers and shit, and, and cookies, and, and you dip, you dip this stuff in it, and uh, you make. Stop the show! And just give me your ring. So, oh so, so you um, you know, dude, just give me the ring. <laughs> Uh, nice. Come on. Uh, no, let's do. Uh, I'll eat your ass. But it tastes like a, a rice that, crispy bar. I'll eat your ass. Well, you wouldn't that. let me finish. You just basically said finish now or don't. I had a whole like twenty more minutes. You son of a bitch. Twenty. Nobody yes. listening to that. <sighs> well, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm crying, and it's not because I was laughing so hard. What? All right, let's finish. Let's uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the whole thing. You shouldn't. <laughs> What's in my mouth? Everybody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Yes. All right. Oh, we're moving Jesus on. Fucking Christ! Woo. Wow. Um. Woo. I don't know why that was the funniest thing that we've ever done. I just I thought how because it was just it's the same thing as the brown stuff bit where it's like this isn't that funny but I'm making it funnier because it happened. What twice. brown stuff bit? <laughs> Back then. Go uh. Go listen to one of our animated episodes. Oh. Because <laughs> we were talking about Saint Bernards, but uh, now we're moving <laughs> on to a different fucking topic. shit. The brown stuff. Back to a different topic. Oh, God damn it. Got burping in the Come on. I'm so sorry. We've done this segment before. We brought it back recently. Mm. Took a way too long hiatus, in my opinion. But You got to uh, snot in your mustache because you were laughing so hard. Oh, gross. I might have it too. Yeah. So this time on Edited for TV, we've got Ooh, some options. Okay. But we, we made a decision off the air, so we're going we're gonna to go with Die Hard 2. Why can't we do both? Because I want to save it for next week. Okay. Or we could do both. I don't Why not? Know. I mean, we, we got plenty of content. <laughs> you know, we got to squeeze it all in. That's what she said. Die Hard 2, colon, Die Harder. Uh, at the end of the movie, on the airport, John McClane says the iconic line. you be guy yay, motherfucker. Right? Cool line. Awesome. you be guy yay, motherfucker. Yeah. Now, what do you think they changed it to? Because I promise you, you're not going to guess. Mother it. Glucker, mother, bu- mother Trucker, <sighs> mother Goose. None of the mothers. Hmm. 
other trucker. <laughs> Ovaries. I promise you, you do not know. Did you ever play Telephone? Uh, Super Smash Brothers? No, I don't think I did. Never mind. The joke won't land. So this is a different... <laughs> what did anyway, you do you for be, our, one more time. our home listening audience? Well, because you picked Captain Falcon and you go, Falcon Punch! So every time I think of that, I'll think of this. Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Mr. Falcon. And who the fuck was in charge of dubbing Bruce Willis? Yeah, because that's like a British dude. Because listen to this. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yeah, it's a little bit grislier than usual. But this sounds like Tom Sizemore on a fucking bender. Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> or no, who's the dude from the Bronx Tale? Oh, uh, Chaz Palminteri. Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. Doesn't it kind of sound like that guy? <laughs> you know what I loved about the twist about a Bronx Tale is Robert De Niro was not the gangster. <laughs> Did you know that Matt Ryan was... Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Mr. Falcon. When I thought of the, uh, Matt Ryan, I thought, Falcon. Of, uh, thought, thought he played for the Atlanta. Mr. Falcon. yippee ki Mr. Falcon. <laughs> you, you know Sounds what? Sounds like he's almost hey, saying Mr. Vulcan. You know what? You know what? If you ever see, uh, if you ever see Matt Ryan or Julio Jones out in public and they're riding one of the mechanical bulls, you say this to them. yippee ki Mr. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just, it's the same. You know, it's like this. Sloppy. It doesn't it's match sloppy. at all. I was having, sl- uh, having si- I was having sex with him. Having sex with him. <laughs> Look, they all sound so bad. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> so this. Why did you dub the whole thing? Why couldn't you just be like, Mr. okay, Falcon? Say Mr. Falcon as close to <laughs> Bruce Willis as you can. <laughs> Mr. Like, Falcon. Who makes that decision in the room? Hey, Mr. Falcon. That's a mother, better That's a better Bruce Willis right there, and mo- I didn't even try. Mother Trucker, Mother Glucker um, sound ridiculous, but they sound a little bit diff- like better than Mr. Falcon. <laughs> it's like when we did Lebowski, and it said, you know, it said, fuck a stranger in the ass, but they changed it to f- find somebody in the a- find someone in the Alps. Alps. That's, nobody says this that. This is how you scramble an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, what... All right, okay. so here's another one. The mm-hmm. other f- drop we So had. that was terrible. Awful. So Pineapple Express, mm. um, they did have an air on like FX and stuff, and they dubbed things. And it does a lot of swearing. F- weirdly enough, you can't say asshole. You can say ass. You can say hole. But you can't say asshole. Uh, um, but you that's also, changed You also sense, can't sure. say God damn it. Yeah, you, can't, you can say damn it, but you can't say God damn it. <laughs> fucking Christians. Fuck um, off. Sorry. But <laughs> so mean. there's a situation where these characters call each other well, assholes. And it's really funny. So Seth Rogen. Also, mm-hmm. I apologize the audio is not great. Great cuz somebody recorded this off their TV like 10 years ago. But uh here we go. This mm-hmm. is Pineapple Express. You are a casserole. That's all you are. You're a casserole. I'm not a casserole. You know what? I'm what? I'm I feel I feel pretty sure that I'm not a casserole. Right. I'm like a totally nice guy. <laughs> casserole. He said you're an asshole. You're a casserole, dude. I, I, I'm not a casserole, man. <sighs> you're a casserole. Somebody says to me they got a fucking hot dish. You are a casserole. <laughs> That's all you are. You're a casserole. I'm not a casserole. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm a I'm, hot I feel, dish. I feel pretty sure that I'm not a casserole. Yeah. I'm like a totally nice guy. You know what's really funny about that is um, it, James Franco. It actually sounds like they dubbed it. Yeah, like like, like Seth, he said that. Like, like they were like, "We're gonna do all of our made for TV." It's not this. Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> what's with the British like, Mr. Falcon? Are you a Bond villain or something? Because yeah. you suck at it, dude. This, yeah, I mean, you. I'm casserole. That's all you are. You're it a casserole. Like I'm not a casserole. I would. You know what? I'm. What? I'm. I feel. I, I feel, feel like a pretty casserole. sure that I'm not a casserole. I'm like a totally nice guy. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like honestly, those are that. Those are the type of guys That's- who would be like, you know what? We're gonna do all the edited for television ourselves. You tell us what's unacceptable. We'll change it. And we'll, we'll dub, dub it, it all of ourselves because yeah, it's funny as shit. Shit, we'll re. You're a we'll, casserole. We'll do reshoots, man. <laughs> Fuck it. We won't even dub. We'll do fucking reshoots. We'll pay a lot of money. I'm telling you, Tyler, it's a hot dish. (laughs) It's a hot dish. No. 
You on casserole. You're That's all casserole. You... Only North only North Dakotans and Minnesotans say a hot dish. All right. We never really said hot dish. Um casserole is fairly common. Um hot dish you would hear uh and you would say sometimes and you would eat sometimes. Uh goulash was another one. Goulash. Goulash is really, really good. I love it. When I was growing Noodles up, and meat. What's not to love? Well, it's all the crap leftover stuff. And yeah, you, you just, just throw re- it into a right, pot. Right, you rehash it Some and all that. Some bacon in there. Right. But here's the thing is when I was growing up, I didn't realize that it, that that's what it was. And stew is a lot like that, too. Oh, I love stew. Stew is amazing. A hefty bowl of stew. But stew chili? is all oh. the shit that's left over from everything else. I'm about to make me... Ooh. It's getting... So is chili. Everybody talks about fall. It's not fall. It's chilly season. Let me tell now, you. Now, let me tell you. Farting that, up a storm around let me, here. <laughs> let me tell you that, um, you know, I love chili. I love me some stew, some beef some stew. 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 Um, I, <laughs> I was imagining a dude I love, walking uh, to work. Stew. And you're just, uh, stew. I love me some goulash. Like I that? love me some hot dish. I love me some casserole. But when I was growing up, I didn't realize that, I don't know, it, it, I didn't realize that it was all the stuff left over from everything else. Like, it wasn't made just for that. Like, now, people make chili, you know what I mean? Like, they buy beef. Big old pot of chili. They buy, like, real good beef. You know what I mean? Like, they make chili. Yeah. But, like, that, the, the reason why stews and, and chilies and things like that, those types of dishes were came about was because, you know, you had to stretch your fucking food dollar. You, you thought I was going to say butthole, didn't you? Yes. You got to stretch your butthole. <laughs> no, Jake. Always thinking of the butthole. I don't butthole. know about you, but if you had a hefty chili, it'll do that to you. Always thinking about your... Yeah, you'll get a ripped butthole if you have the... Uh, nice. If you have the chi- <laughs> chili chili popping seeds in there. Have you ever had chili popping seeds? What? No. So, um... Let's move on. <laughs> I'm sure they're really upset about our chili talk. It's a new podcast. To oh, chili talk. To stew. <laughs> Again, you remember stew. the commercial with Eye of the Tiger with Roy, 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 Roy. Remember that? You know. You Maybe. Know. It's the band Survivor following him. No, I know. And he's saying Roy. Roy. I would feel like <laughs> we would just be two guys going stew. Follow this guy to work, and he's like, "Leave me alone." We're stew. Dude, I work at the athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. <laughs> what? It's a clo- It's a shoe store. Foot Locker is what I would have gone with. <laughs> the athlete's foot. That's it's not a, a real shoe. store. Is it? Is it? It's a shoe store. I'll show it to you it right now. It was advertised by uh, John Madden for tough acting to acting. Uh, let's yeah, talk about scab. Yeah, no, it's not talking about you. Talk about scabs. Okay, go ahead. So, as we've been mentioning several times, that was I thinking of the Foot Locker? Is the Foot Locker where they dress up like referees? Yeah, it's Foot Locker. <laughs> and you said the athlete's foot. <laughs> the best part is, you were so sure of it. <laughs> okay, whatever, Tyler. The athlete's foot is in is his imagination. Where is it at? Is it in the U.S.? That's what I want to know. You better believe it. It's in showers everywhere in the <laughs> Athletes? Wear sandals every in public showers. Do you use public showers? I don't, the only time I've ever used a public shower was uh, when I would go to the pool. You should do it more often, man. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> having your dick out amongst other men. In the shower. All right, next topic of discussion because there's no are other we, way. Are we still on air? Yes. Oops. So shouldn't have said that thing I don't about know the we, public we should, showers. We should talk about. I didn't want everybody to know about that. I don't know if we should talk about this, but we can. Uh, a little bit of old news, but I want to kind of open discussion and, and just kind of think what were they thinking about this. So, as probably a lot of you know, this past couple of weeks. Keep going. I'm just plugging my phone back in. Drew Barrymore uh, began to return to production of her talk show with no writers. You fucking dick. Which, how, again, with no writers, one. Two, you're not going to be able to have actors on your talk show because they can't talk about projects. They can't do any sort of press for anything because they're on strike. Mm-hmm. 
So I don't understand how you think that would work. That was Drew Barrymore. I think doesn't make sense. Bill Maher, when we talk about him, it makes a little bit more sense because it's also a political show, so he could have like politicians on, or like to- other talk show hosts or whatever, podcasters, whatever. But Drew Barrymore's doesn't make sense because yeah, she mostly talks to celebrities. She talks to it's like Kelly Clarkson's show, you know, uh, all those daytime interview talk shows. So she made that decision, but then eventually a bunch of backlash. She made a video on Twitter, and the, all these people were upset, and rightfully so, because mm-hmm. this is a scab move. Because, Drew, aren't you still a part of the Actors Union? I don't know. She hasn't acted in a while, so I don't know if she still is. I don't know if she pays dues or whatever, but it's like you were in that union because almost every actor in Hollywood is in that union. So she was at some point, and she should... like, like. She should know better, especially even take away the, the actor mm-hmm. strike, a writer strike. Those people, they're, you're not allowing them. Like, <sighs> it's not her fault, in a sense of she's not. It's not like she's not allowing them to work. They're choosing not to work because they want better pay. Because yeah, they're on strike. That's what they're well, doing. Wh- what's what's the, but, what's the impetus behind impetus behind it, Drew? I mean, no, 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 no. She doesn't no. have enough money. Like, I don't yeah, that, I mean, what the fucking? Pro- you're you're the one who married Tom Green, not me. I didn't fucking marry Tom Green. That was like twenty years ago. Yeah, and she's probably still paying him, dude. All right, probably. If you were Tom Green, wouldn't you be like, I'm gonna have to take half of everything you have because I'm Tom Green and I can't take care of myself. <laughs> this thing. I is mean, look at me fading fast. My uh, uh, my 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 import, my fame, dude. For like two weeks in like 1997. I was like, Tom Green is the fucking funniest fucking dude in the fucking universe, dude. Pew, pew, quip. Pew, pew, quip. That's what he was doing. And then a week later, it was like, um, wait a second. He's just being an asshole to his parents. You thinking of Bam Margera, too? No. He, sure, he followed up with that. Was that was kind of that brand of... But yeah. Tom Green, you don't remember Tom Green yeah. having those people paint... Two lesbians making out on his dad's hood of his car, on the hood of his dad's car. I never watched the Tom Green show. Well, shut up then. <laughs> um, what the fuck are you talking about what are you then? Doing, what are you commenting man? on the fucking show? Well, <laughs> but I'm sorry. So yeah, shut she up, yeah, like you shit. What are you doing? Interrupted. I'm sorry, you bastard. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know what the impetus is, like you said, behind this. Like, and the people that are against the strikes make me laugh too because they're like, she was just trying to go back to work or whatever. And like, she makes so much more than her writers. <laughs> also, and they just yeah. wanted a piece of the pie because you know what? Yeah. She realized, and it's the same thing that Bill Maher realized mm. the writers do all the work on those fucking shows. Yeah. The talent just shows up reads a fucking teleprompter, reads some cue cards, and I'm sure that Bill Maher can say that his monologues and new rules he wrote himself, I know, because they suck. So, <laughs> I'm, I don't, I used to like Bill Maher. There was a period when I liked him, and then I got older and I realized, oh, he's just a boomer fuck. That's all he is. He's, he's he a, he's this a progressive white, liberal guy. Yeah, but he just wants to say the N-word. Let's be honest about Bill it's okay. Maher. okay. I have sex with black women, so I that's, can say the that's N-word. That's all he that's... wants to do. He just wants to be a, a rich guy who can say the N-word. That's it. <laughs> Every time he gets in trouble, it's because he said the N-word. And it's like, what are you doing? Why are you saying that word? You it's know what, not a before... word you can use, motherfucker. It's just... Uh... Before he said he was going to come back to the... Sh- like, bring yeah. real time back. Yeah. He fucking... Oh, by the way, nobody asked for it, dude. We're, has... we're looking for, like, Loki and shit. He has his uh, <laughs> Give a uh shit about your he show. has a podcast called Club Random where it's just he interviews celebrities and shit. And I'm spoke, sure it's he's fantastic. Just, yeah, he's just sitting there smoking a joint, talking to random people. Whoop dee dee. And you know, normally I'd be like, that sounds like a fun show, but it's Bill Maher, so yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's Bill um, Maher. <laughs> I would listen to Tom Green smoking a joint and interviewing anybody, not Bill Maher. Even Joe Rogan, I think you could find some inter- you know, some I, entertaining listen, episodes. Listen, I'm Not Bill Maher. Listen, I'm Bill Maher. Women love me. Men want to be me. Um, Actually, no. Thing. Nobody likes you. Hey, I chose not to have kids, so <laughs> I'm better than you. That's his fucking shtick with everything. It's just a one-note smug asshole. Yes. And, like, it... He developed a, he developed a personality in the 80s, and he stopped... 
Yeah. And that's his, been his personality ever since, dude. If he could get a, He still but does kind of have a mullet going on. Before he brought the show back- you know, He's still got that stupid 80s haircut. Before he brought that Shut show up. back on his podcast, mm. he was talking to- uh, God. His dick? He's a comedian. He's a bigger guy. Uh, Fluffy. No, he's a white dude, blonde hair. Mm. He's pretty popular. Brian Posen? No, no, he isn't. Jim Brian, Gaffigan? Yes, Jim Gaffigan. How do you go to? Oh my God, Brian Posen, you freaking. Brian hey. Posen is popular to me, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, pro- but Jim let's Ga- call I'm- up Brian Posen. He's like, he's like twelve. He's like fifteen feet he's tall. Answer the phone, and he'll be like, "What?" Yeah. So yes, Jim Gaffigan was on a show, and he said, uh, like, "Boo, Jim Gaffigan." No, I'm just kidding. No, he, but he said that like his thing is, and Jim Gaffigan was baffled by this stuff. He's like, "What are you talking about?" Where Bill is like, "There's a big other side to this strike." Like he's like, "I'm not saying that this it's wrong to strike, but nobody takes into consideration these companies hurting and blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "You know who's hurting? Warner Brothers, Disney, uh, Sony." Just there's a couple big studios, you know, Columbia Pictures. That's Sony. A couple of those big pictures who have the biggest franchises in the world. Where you're Disney, where you own almost fucking everything. Mm-hmm. Warner Brothers, whatever owns you don't, all their DC shit, whatever, whatever, all their HBO shows. Yeah, yeah, it, and it, like they're hurting. Where a lot of these writers can't even fucking pay their rent, but they're, you know, they make. Fucking idiots like Bill Maher look funny or seem funny to someone, not me. I, I don't know where the tr- attraction. So is. he thinks, oh, I'm gonna bring my show back, and I look. I understand. I feel for the writers and feel for the strike. I'm one of my show's writers. Yeah, we know, Bill. All the stupid shit that's <laughs> of, of that show is you. Hey, we know you were in uh, uh, Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death with Shannon Tweed. We get it. Okay. <laughs> What a poll! I would not have guessed that. The oh, only, that's like his, that's like me, his crowning achievement. To me, the is, only is being invited to the Playboy Mansion, which, by the way, is awesome. Norm, Mc, but fuck you, Norm Macdonald. I think said it best, where he's like, he there was a quote flying around recently with Bill Maher, where he said that he didn't think Bill Maher was funny. He thought the only entertaining thing about Real Time was when he did the panel shit, because that was other people, and like he thought the opening monologue always was sucked. New rules always sucked, like. All, all he does is just get up and go, hey, 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 and he expects everybody to laugh, and it's like, fuck off. Go get to the panel. This is the same. He's like, do, do you ever watch the Dennis Miller show? You're too young for that. No. Same fuck no. fucking. What? I know who Dennis Miller is. Hey, hey, look at me with my hair. All I'm right, so Trudy. smart. Hey, Trudy from the fucking Facts of Life. That's a beer deep drop there. Hey, beep, 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 hey beep. buddy, I'm somehow a lamer Andrew hey. Dice Clay. Wow, hello. Hey, That's how are my you? I'm, I'm like a smart Andrew Dice Clay. You who need also, a fucking degree also, to get my jokes. Who also is really, <laughs> who also is really into wine and brie cheese, babe. Okay, babe. Yeah, babe. Okay, babe. Okay, babe. Hey, remember babe, when babe, I was babe. on Monday Night Football for hey, some reason? Remember that? I don't even know. Hey, listen. Who does a about, radio host and Joe Dirt? Hey, that's listen. <laughs> that's that's about as good to defense as Rome against Hannibal. You know what I'm saying, babe? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, some yeah. that some dude in his living room was eating it up. Some dude liked Dennis Miller, not me. I did for a little bit. I bought his book. It's the same. Hey, Bill Maher, man. I liked Bill Maher for a little bit. I really, I, I really like, yeah. liked Dennis Miller because he was he was still pretty progressive back then. He wasn't the big fucking right wing asshole that he is now. Um, I'm gonna go on Sean Hannity and sling some I'm jokes go ahead to my and boomer sling some jokes fans. on there. And uh, and uh, I, I liked him, and I bought his book right, and I was watching him on on HBO because he had late night with Dennis Miller, or whatever the fucking show was called. Uh, who knows? It was probably like we can say fuck on this show. Hey, we can say fuck. All right. It's like, hey, you know what? It's like my weekend update with the SNL, babe. Okay, but it's my show. But babe. I can say fuck. But I can say fuck, babe. You know, fuck, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Babe, fuck, babe. Babe, babe, babe. Hey, babe. fuck, babe, 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 babe. Can we move on? No. So he, uh, so uh, I, I used to watch it, and I just really like. Uh, you know, this is. But the thing that really gets me is is how he used to start his monologue. Hey, babe. No, he would start like, but this is what really bugs me. You know, and he would go on in the spiel, right? I bought his book, right? Because I was like, oh, cool, you know, because he's funny. And every chapter was, guess what? One of his monologues. Oh. He fucking took all of his monologues from like the first season of his show and put them in a book as chapters and fucking sold it as a fucking book, dude. Wow. Yeah. Fuck Dennis Miller, dude. <laughs> 
I still want my twenty four ninety five because I bought that fucking hardcover, you bitch. You fucking punk ass motherfucker, dude. You fucking traitor to the human race, man. He is. Well, I'm progressive. I I'm, got what I, I paid for. I'm, 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 Sorry. Finish it. Listen, let's be finish honest. It. Let's be I will finish it. You know what? Let's 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 be honest, okay? Let's be real honest here, folks. If you're a right wing conservative like white supremacist, you are a traitor to the human race. Why? Because you don't want to see our our people, the humanity, all of us, grow into like this awesomeness, man. You want to hold us back from evolution you want to hold us back from coming together as one species and making this planet as fucking good as it can be getting rid of the fucking money fucking issue thing or whatever the fuck that whole jackassery shit is and being a a communal fucking society and then we can fucking explore space together man i mean holy fucking shit Oh, oh, no, 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 I can't do that because that person believes in another god than I do. Hey, fucking grow the hey, fuck man. up, all Speaking right? Of space. Get your ass to Mars. I guess. I guess I'm done. <laughs> oh, God, your face. What? No, it's fine. I want to talk about, well, I figure why, Sex. You're, why you're hot and bothered. I wanted to... Oh, okay. Keep you angry and talk about fucking the Rolling Stone co-founder. Oh, for fuck's sake. You... Uh, co- and I don't mean you. I mean him. You cocksucker. Okay. Is it Jen Winner? No, who cares? Well, I want to know. We can just call him Hitler Youth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a really shitty punk band. We all Hitler Youth. So, Mr. Youth. Um, so, the Rolling Stones. Because I don't want to say the name founder, all the time. Uh, Shithead McGee. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Dipshit. He's writing a book called The Wilson. Masters uh, about like the great some of the greatest rock musicians of all time or whatever. Uh, it, it you know I don't know who he has listed as the usual suspects, but he he got some criticism. A bunch of Jimmy Hendrix. He got in some there. criticism because when you think of like like the historical impact of the music of the genre, you cannot have rock and roll without the without the blues. Black people created rock and roll. Like that's black people have been creating music throughout. And like I should have pulled that clip from Peacemaker. It's the truth. Like the only the people undermine- fucking original American form of music is blues, which started in the fields among the slaves, and it was gospel that was taught to them. They brought over they brought over songs from that they could remember and whatnot from the old country. Um, that they could remember, and then they were obviously they were converted to Christianity, whatnot. So they had hymns, yeah, and they kind of made them their own, and it became like this kind of a um, of a Southern gospel, um, and that turned into the blues. Kind of, you know, people would start you know playing guitars, and as yeah. as you know, slavery ended, and they, they were able to you know go about their own ways, which. Guys, let's be honest about this. How fucked up is that, dude? How fucked up is that that we actually owned other people in this country? Not me, but people owned other people in yeah, this country. Wild. And you know what? There's people in this country right now who have no problem with that. You know what? You know what? What's, what? Get over it. You know what? Jesus was 2,500 years ago. Why don't you fucking get over that, asshole? All right? As long as we're talking about shelf life. Yeah, I'm stealing a Bill Hicks joke there, but it's a good one. Um, but what I <laughs> what I was gonna say, but yeah, you can't have rock and roll without no. Black America, and unfortunately, the beginning of Black America is slavery. Yeah, it is the practice of slavery that I want to say uh, horrendous uh, to fucking the slav- practice to the slavery thing. I want to say what really bothers me with yes that that is a part of our history, but really what really really bothers me is how common it was. Yes, and how it still happens. It's pretty fucked up. It still happens in this world. Yes, but yes. It's it like it's l- not when you think <laughs> of American music. It you can't you can't talk about the masters like the best like musicians ever and not at least have one black artist because that's just ridiculous. Right. If you don't, like at least Chuck Berry, easy, easy. <clears throat> Robert uh, Robert Johnson. Uh, crossroads guy, Louis Louis Armstrong. If you want to do more of a jazz to it, but like, 
anyway, so he was asked why John he Coltrane. didn't interview. And by the way, John fucking Coltrane, man. Come on. Miles fucking wanna, Davis, stop, asshole. Stop. Sorry. I want to make it clear that he interviewed these people. He interviewed the, the artists. So, you know, those artists that we named, he couldn't have really talked about. So it oh, to fair be, enough. But fair there's enough, still yeah. plenty of living black artists. That Stevie could, Wonder is alive. Yeah. Um, uh, He's a fucking bona fide so musical when he genius was asked why, in anybody's list. Or you're he, stupid and you don't know music. Sorry. And he was asked uh, <laughs> by uh, in an interview why he didn't interview women or black musicians. He said, quote, yeah. It's not that they're inarticulate, although go have a deep conversation with Grace Slick or Janis Joplin. Please be my guest. You know, Joni Mitchell <clears throat> has was not a philosopher of rock and roll. She didn't, in my mind, meet the test. He told the Times. I think it was the New York Times or maybe the LA Times. He told somebody. Uh, then he continues, quotes, of black artists, you know, Stevie Wonder, genius, right? I suppose when you use a word as broad as masters, the fault is using that word. Maybe Marvin Gaye or Curtis Mayfield. I mean, they didn't just articulate at that level. Jan Winner, that's his name. Jan Winner said. So because of that, he was uh, booted from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame board. Uh, because fuck him. I'm sorry. There's no way you can't slice this and just hear him not say that so, black artists don't make the cut. So did did he not he also say black or women artists? Right, black. Uh, it was women and black artists. Yes, yes. Because so he was talking about quote, Grace Slick and Janis Joplin. Yes. So that first quote, he's he's riffing on yeah Janis Joplin. Try having hey, a hey, conversation. Hey, hey. Try yeah. having a deep conversation with them is what he said. So, um, hey, uh, Mr. Wimmer, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit. Like, rock and roll is built from the blues, and blues is sorrow, right? And Janice, it was widely believed uh, by her close confidants that she was a closeted uh, lesbian. And that she not only struggled with that, but it, it gave rise to her alcoholism because she felt she could never really be who she wanted to be, or who she was, rather. And so she had to perform to this thing where she was a woman who, you know, would would go out with men, you know, even though she didn't feel right about it. And that's deep fucking sorrow, man. That's deep fucking sorrow. But they don't meet, she doesn't meet the test, though. Yeah. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, she fucking does. All right. OK. All right. If you think like Kurt Cobain is a master or whatever, obviously you can't interview him because he blew his own head up or whatever. But, you know, um, <laughs> but Janis Joplin drank herself to death. Because she could not handle living in a society where she couldn't be herself, and, and I don't, I don't fucking blame her. And this guy started Rolling Stone, so he's been so, around. Listen, I haven't finished. You, you're telling me get off. Oh, you're you're not done, right, so man. let me We're finish. Back on the Tyler train. I know. Well, I'll just hang on. Let me just finish I'm, I'm the here. thing. I'm here. So if that's <laughs> the fucking test, then she passes it with flying fucking colors, dude. Okay, that's sorrow, and that's what rock and roll is based off, and that's what rock and roll is. So. I don't care what you think about uh, the rock and roll masters anymore. Because you automatically told me that you are considering people that you're not considering people that I consider masters of rock and roll. Okay. Fucking Shaka Khan. Fucking Ray <laughs> Charles. Okay. Well, and that's, that's the thing. That's why I chuckle at this because it's, again, you can't <clears throat> to say that. <clears throat> These women Pat or Benatar. these or, or these black artists don't reach a, a bar that you and your own pompous ego made up. And this, yeah, a white dude. <laughs> just surprising. because you had a successful magazine yeah, and website, yeah. Do, you, have you created anything of worth value? Right. Of Did art, he? artistry? No. But you're going to judge other people. Isn't it weird that a white and then dude? Pretend, yeah. And then pretend to be elitist about the history of rock and roll or the history. Yeah, of try it. to explain it in such a way that we don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Janis Listen. Joplin. She doesn't meet the test. She's not that smart. Maybe well, Curtis Mayfield. Maybe yeah, yeah. Marvin Gaye. Even though "Let's Get It On" is well, one of like most yeah. recognizable songs ever. Right. And that was written well, in the '70s. Mr. Wimmer, what is the test? Oh, I don't. I can't. I don't have time to explain it to you, man. I mean, look, I know what I'm talking about, but and other writers of rock and roll, you know, memorabilia and shit would know, but you don't. Oh, yeah, you're so fucking genius, dude. You know, isn't it weird that a white guy would come up with a list of really, really excellent people and they were all white dudes? Weird. Isn't that weird how white dudes always come up with top ten lists and it's all white dudes? Weird. 
hey, you know what? The only top 10 list that I would ever come up with. Um, actually, no, that's not true because we had a black president. I was going to say um, that the only top 10 list that I could make that would be all 10 white dudes would be, I was going to say U.S. presidents, but, oh, but I, you can't I, I Obama. completely forgot about Obama, and he's obviously number one, and like Biden's number two right there, right? Yeah, oh, oh, you, you, you shilling for Biden? Look, man, I'd rather have that motherfucker in the office than anybody else. All right, shit, right now, you fucking whack jobs. All right, you're getting all right. sloppy. Yeah, well, you take us back to Mars. Where are we going? Mars? I don't know. You got to flip it. Get your ass to Mars. Didn't you say that was their thing to be yeah, like, bring you on it? I don't fucking tell you about your own fucking drops. Oh, oh. why would you say that? Why would you say that? I took my feeling in my face. Ouch. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, Tyler, it's up to you if you want to do this. We still have time. Mm. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Mm. What? I was gonna say we should watch Mighty Orbots. Um, it's up to you. We can we can we arrange it. Let's save it for next time. You fucker. No, we're watching it. Do you want to do Longbox? Or do you want, we can watch, I thought we already watched Mighty Orbots. No, we were going to, but then we watched Street Sharks. Oh, yeah. Well, we could, uh. Decision was made. It's a Longbox. Wow. Yeah. It's so scary. You feel like you're on an acid trip? Feel like a morning as a truth. Took a little ayahuasca. Took a little ayahuasca. What do you want to talk about, bro? Well, I was uh, <laughs> I got prime again because I'm watching uh, Thursday night football games, and that's the only way you can do it. By the way, NFL, you're dangerously flirting with why baseball sucks because um, they don't like to watch. But you, you can watch, watch their games. Gen V, the boys spinoff. What's that? Gen V. It's on. It's on like next week. We should, so then I can start watching it. Whoa. And then we'll have something new to... <gasps> Fuck this what's-in-my-mouth bullshit. That's expensive. Um, what? Oh, yeah, put it in your mouth. So, um, what is in your mouth? I'll okay. bring some nuts. Yeah, puts in your mouth. I'm literally eating cashews. Dill pickle cashews. <laughs> and um, so I got Prime back, and uh, one of the things I was watching on Roku channel... Now, if you're not aware, like, all of these algorithms are connected. Like, everything on the internet, there's all these things that are watch that are keeping track of your things. Like, if I order, like, I ordered us jerseys on one website, but because my Google, like, uh, my browser, it has all my Google shit in it, Google knows. So, Google yeah, tells all the websites data. that I go to. It's behavioral. So, exactly, right? So, um, I know how it works. one of the things, uh, I have a smart TV. And there's the Roku channel, and I, I've been watching uh, the Rockford Files, which I will do on another long box another time. But it stars James Garner, and he's a guy from Oklahoma, where Luke's from, or where Luke's Oklahoma. living. Oklahoma! Um, but he's one, of the, he's one of the greatest actors, uh, one of the better actors in old-time Hollywood. He's very progressive. He's Democrat, lifelong Democrat, so you know he's good. Yeah, I said that. Fuck off. Um <clears throat> so I'm watching that on Roku channel and because I'm watching that and it's James Garner stars when I go to prime and I got done with the game last Friday or last Thursday, I was just looking around at movies and it was like movies you might like. And one of them was this movie from 1969 called support your local sheriff. And have you ever seen uh, blazing saddles? Of course. Okay. Blazing saddles, iconic comedy comedy film, right? Are yeah. you fucking on Twitter right now? While I'm, I'm pulling up on? my long box. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm pulling it out. Fuck you. I'm pulling up my deal fuck pickle. Fuck you. Wow. Well, so um <laughs> so again, because I'm watching one thing on the Roku channel, it's kind of scary a little bit, right? Because I'm on a completely different app. Oh, and they followed you? Well, no, I'm on an uh, I'm on a completely different app. I'm on Prime. But because I watched the thing with James Garner over here, it's like, wouldn't you like this one with James Garner? I'm like, you yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, or you're talking about it, and then it shows up on your phone. Right. Freaky, right? Like we, Yeah, and let's give AI more free reign, you fucking morons. Hey. Nobody's seen Terminator movies? You I've know, been saying that. When people want to use uh, AI, I'm like, do you want Skynet? Right. This is how we get it. Right. Oh, but it'll help us with business. Uh, I'm glad you can tell my... You can tell you know, the corpses of all of our, you know. You can't because they're dead, Tyler. Yeah, we're they're dead. Corpses. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Judgment died. Judgment died. 
Dad is judgment. Oh, you said dad, judgment dad. Dad. This summer on Fox, Judge Dad. Judgment Dad. <laughs> Order in the court. In my court, I mean my home. And I mean my home. <laughs> Bailiff, take him away. And by that, I mean mom. So. <laughs> This movie is uh, actually... <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Let me beat my beef stick on the table. Quit beating so, your meat. Quit beating your meat. So, um, so I started watching it just to see what it was like, and it's actually really, really funny. Like, it's it's uh, a, it's along the lines of, like, airplane, but it's, it's not as... It's more like Naked Gun, because there's not as many sight gags. It's more... Um, it, it's more like just rapid-fire, like, uh, dialogue and, like, uh, kind of like... Um, you know, uh, uh, using different words like, for example, uh, the whorehouse in town is called Miss Orr's house. Okay, so that's kind of a joke. And they always like uh, there. There's a couple things like, uh, well, you know, when I was getting my 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 nuts dipped, well, actually, when I was you know going to church at Miss Orr's, you know, like they say that they start saying something, and they know they have to bring it back because it's a G-rated movie. But. Like, one of the things is this guy rides into town, James Garner, and they're like, do you want the sheriff? Do you want the job of sheriff? And he's like, I'll take the job of sheriff. Okay, where's your jail? Well, we have a, the best jail in three counties. Cool, where is it? Uh, it's got everything you need. Cool, where is it? It's it's probably the most stocked, and you got coffee, and you got guns. and you got, Where is it? It's over here, but there's no bars yet. We haven't, we ordered them, but they're not in. <laughs> well, you want me to arrest this guy, but there's no bars. Okay, so he goes and he draws a chalk line in front of each cell, and then he splatters some red paint over there, <laughs> and he puts the guy in the cell, and he's like, you seriously think I'm going to sit here with a chalk fucking line over here? And he's like, yeah, that's exactly what I believe. I'm going to go out here now, and he's like, well, wait, what's that? And he's like, oh, that? And he points to the red shit, and he's yeah. like, that's uh, the fellow who crossed the line before. <laughs> and the guy, like, sits in the cell. And it's kind of that, like it's it's cerebral, but it's also kind of wacky and goofy. It's 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 a G-rated movie. You're not going to hear any swearing like this fucking podcast. Whoa, um, you're shit. Come on uh, now. I don't want to swear anymore. Um, but um, <laughs> not, not ever. Just James Gardner's not. rolling in his grave. Right. Um, but it it was just one of those funny things. And uh, there's an actual sequel called Support Your Local Gunfighter, which I'm going to watch this weekend. And uh, it, it was just for 90 minutes. It was a real quick fucking movie. 90 minutes of just fun action. It's just fun. It was just one of those just, fun. Just a good time. No, it's just one of those fun movies that you didn't even know existed. And you got you get done. And you're like, cool. I'm really glad that I got to watch that. So check it out. Support your local sheriff. Support your local sheriff. Do it. Yeah. All right. So your podcast, your long box is a tweet. My long box is, uh, you know, it's a tweet. It is, we're recording this on September 22nd, mm. 2020. The 16th year anniversary of the most iconic moment in sports mm-hmm. and the most iconic moment ever. It's the Mike Gundy, I'm a man, I'm 40 speech. Fuck yes. Post game, yes. September 22nd, oh, 2007. God, yes. Here's the I clip. love you. I don't read it. This was brought to me by a mother. My children. I think this is worth reading. Let me tell you why I'm talking about this article. Three fourths of this is inaccurate. Inaccurate. It's fiction. (laughs) Here's all that kid did. He goes to class. He's respectful to the media. He's like a wrestling. He's respectful to the public. What? (laughs) And he's a good kid. What? Let's go back. Yeah. All that kid did. He goes to class. What? He's respectful to the media. What? He's respectful to the public. What? And he's a good kid. What? And he's not a professional athlete, and he doesn't deserve to be kicked when he's down. What? That's why I don't read the newspaper. Because it's garbage. And the editor that let it come out is garbage. Come after me. Here it is. I'm a man. Yeah. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. Write something about me <coughs> or our cause. That's all I got to say. <laughs> 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 I love the fucking idiots. That's why I don't read the newspaper. I love the fucking idiots who are clapping. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, coach. Yeah. Fucking you. You guys are idiots, too. And he doesn't deserve to be kicked when he's down. What? That's why I don't read the newspaper. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. did. Down. He goes to class. What? He's respectful to the media. What? He's respectful to the public. What? And he's a good kid. What? And he's not a professional what? athlete. And he Dude. doesn't deserve to be kicked when he's down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good for him, because I'll never remember what that actually is about. But it's still funny. It's still great, dude. When you did that final what, and you did the whole head shake, what? Like, what? <laughs> That's it was like fucking Sergeant Slaughter. Over Listen here, you son of a bitch. That's how you son of a bitch. You come at me, goddamn it! I'm a man. I'm a man that's seen a lot of <laughs> a lot of pain. See, see, I've seen a lot of b holes. Seen a lot of bottom bottles, and I'll tell you this right now: it ain't great. <laughs> Stone Cold's divorce. Oh, Pale Love Shop here with Jake and Tyler. <laughs> <laughs>